Hey, welcome back to Always Learning. What are we doing today? Well, today we're learning how to build a bar cart, cooler cart, whatever you want. And most people, they're, they're gonna build it where it just has one cooler to hold it. It's one big one, everybody's digging around trying to find what they want. Um, to me, it's not very well organized. So we came up with a different concept. We decided to build a cooler cart. I built it out of steel, expanded metal down at the bottom. And we decided to build it so we could have water in one, pop in one, seltzers in one, and beer in one. And so then uh, each cooler just has, you can fill it with ice. If you want to pick it up and take it back to the garage or move it, you can. Um, or it's on wheels so it slides around. It's basically 50, 50 inches wide by 24 inches wide. We actually bought the four coolers and then we figured out how big we wanted to make it. So. Um, it's, a, it's a little higher than I wanted, but um, Jana wanted them sit up where you could easily easily grab the handles. But we went with these igloos, and I'll put a link in the bottom. But if you're looking to build a industrial type uh, cooler cart, I think this is the way to go. This one moves around. If friends come over, they, they bring their own cooler. They can put it down here. We'll have it in the shade. Um, We'll have it in the shade when the day's going on, and then at night we'll bring it, we'll roll it over so it's right next to the table while people are eating. It's right next to the service bar. So, um, anyway, but if you want to make a cooler cart, I'll list the plans on here. We put the dividers in the middle here. As you can see, just to keep the coolers from rattling around. That way, when you move it, they're, they're supported on the bottom. Uh, with this and then they don't really slide because of the, the weight um, But there's enough room to move around so they're easy to, to get out. And that's it. I'll show you how I did it All right So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your dimensions of your coolers ours were 20 and a half inches long by uh, 13 and a half inches high by 10 and a half inches wide and so I laid the coolers out to make sure they would fit um, we did 50 inches long just to give it a little space. Then I came back with the one by three tubing and laid it out to make sure that the coolers would fit in there before I welded it. I 45 the corners just like we did on the patio table just to make it look uh, cleaner and nicer. And also that way there's no little holes for uh, critters to get in. Uh, just to kind of keep it a little bit uh, cleaner and uh, I guess uh, less bug friendly. So I did that and it's really just a matter of cutting and welding. Sure you could probably build this out of wood uh, but steel is just going to last longer so if you can find a friend that can weld or can do it then that's the way to do it. Part of the design was we wanted uh, instead of going with a big cooler we wanted it to function more where it was a little more versatile so if we had a big party we could put water in one seltzers in one beer in one and pop in one you can even put steel labels on because it's steel you can put magnetic labels on the front uh, with a party theme or whatever you want to kind of tell people what's in those um, coolers or if we just had one couple over we could just you know put a handful of drinks in that and carry it back there so we're not filling a full cooler at the bottom trying to put ice in it and these coolers I'll put a link at the bottom they're working great um, so the ice will melt that day but we'll be out there for uh, eight hours from noon to eight and the ice will melt and then you'll get up the next morning or have people over the next afternoon and the water in there will still be ice cold so then you just add a little more ice but um, anyway that's how I did it I just kind of laid it out once I got the um, top frame done um, I box whatever you want to call it I just made a mirror of that for the bottom put legs on it and then took expanded steel flipped it over and measured the bottom did a rough cut then cut the final cut where it would fit in there made sure I welded all the little um, open areas or cut areas grinded those off and then flipped the cart over put a steel plate that I cut uh, welded that to the frame welded the casters then to that steel plate and I'm glad I went with the heavier duty uh, casters 
it's it's not crazy heavy but once you get other people's coolers on there or you're having a really big party and they're totally full it's just nice to have it easy to roll on the concrete and we'll roll it all the way I built a garage on the north side of our house so when um, we're not using it for a party we'll actually you know during the week wheel it over to the garage which is maybe 30 yards away so it just makes it easier and it makes it easy to to wheel it from the shade when we're during the day over to the table at night where people can easily get drinks while we're sitting at the at the big table um, i went with the bars underneath to support the coolers and then went with bars in between there to divide the coolers so they don't slide around but you can still get easily uh, ease ease of uh, access to the handles um, then i spray painted it and paint it black like everything to make sure it wouldn't rust. It's rusting a little on the bottom. I got to come back and put another coat on there. But once I get that done, I think we should be good to go and it should last for years. I'm even thinking about buying more uh, igloo coolers just to make sure when uh, these wear out, I've already got the uh, replacements ready to go. If not, I'll just uh, modify the uh, cooler cart to uh, fit the new coolers but so far it is working great and i highly recommend instead of going with one big cooler going with um, four smaller coolers it's just easier to carry when you get to be my age one cooler than carrying one big cooler loaded down with pop and ice and it just makes it um, uh, more versatile so anyway thanks for watching i uh, hope you have success building one